So guys, wanted to share with you one of my latest projects that I've been printing. Uh, kind of had to, I had to print this one. It was a necessity on the count of moisture where my setup's at. Uh, we did the AMS light full spool enclosure. Uh, I'll have a link for this in the description afterwards. But as you can see, it completely encompasses both your rolls. Uh, I don't have the other side. I'm currently working on getting the other side finished up, but it has really been a game changer. As you can see on this one, I have the hygrometers set up, and I went from before I had roughly, I think, 70% humidity with those two rolls, and with putting Desca in it, I'm down to 44, and then I have a dehumidifier running 24 7 in here so i've got it down to around 49 percent in the room and it's really helped with the stringiness and just some of the problems i'm having with this but gonna do a little review here and show you guys how this thing works so the thing that i really loved about this setup and the way it was made i was kind of on the fence about whether or not i was going to do one of these and just try and buy an extra dehumidifier for my print shop uh but this is, if you can imagine, the level one uh, model kits for when you were a kid. I mean, that's essentially what you've got here. You print the different pieces when you download this. It comes with uh, the two buckets, the divider clips, uh, the two bucket lids. Uh, this piece right here, you can actually, they've got two or three different models with this. You can do a flat plate. You can do one with just one hygrometer or with two of them, one for the room and one for the inside. I actually opted not to do one in this one because I've kind of got a feel of what everything is in the room, but uh, basically just snaps together with these clips. I mean, that's the way the entire thing really works. Uh, just slides onto your AMS unit. Uh, and the top of it, it actually has, uh, they have a bunch of different funnels. I think uh, they come in several different sizes. That you can run uh, i'm not sure which ones i put in this go around but it's been working really good put just pop the funnels in you've got a couple stoppers right there and then you have the clips for actually holding the lid closed you can run these and they do have a couple of different baskets that you can print this is the smaller one for like putting desiccant beads in uh i have the big one it's set up in there it actually comes with a lid for the top of it as well but uh, yeah, flip this around. But have these closure clips here. Once you get everything on, get your filament inside. Seal it up nice and tight. And like I said, it's made a real difference in mine. I can tell a big difference in the humidity of my filament. And it's staying a lot drier. Uh, as you can see, like I said, you can do, I really wanted to do this in translucent, but I had a lot of problems with, that's actually where this started at. The translucent uh, sunlu filament that I was using was drawing a lot of moisture and was basically unusable at that point. It was breaking so bad. So I just grabbed a couple of random rolls and printed it in whatever colors I had. But if you're on the fence about printing this unit, uh, I highly recommend it. If you have the AMS light, it is well worth the print. As you can see here, we've got everything set up and put on. Uh, got the basket in. I'm running some of the mini spool adapters that I've printed for some of these smaller Sunlu uh, rolls. But all in all, it fits really good. The only thing I had a problem with, they do, as you can see these two tabs here, they make a connector. To put those together. And what mine printed, they printed just a little bit too small, the notches. So I wasn't able to put those on, but that's not really a must. You don't really have to have it, but these are definitely worth the print. It really makes a difference. And in all honesty, it doesn't take up that much more space. I'm actually thinking of doing a vertical stand for the unit to actually take up just a little bit less space. So until next time, guys, go play with some toys.